Welcome back to Let's Play Enderal. Today we're doing something a bit different. Well, not, not really that different, but um, we're not going to be doing any, any quests or anything. We're going to return to Castle Goldenford today because I feel powerful enough to attempt to explore the place and um, we went there before briefly but I think I think I turned back in the end and it's just been something I wanted to kind of wrap up at some point I think this is a good time to do it and um, oh god what have I done? also while I'm there I want to try and capture a decent soul to enchant this new dagger we have the righteous path dagger I can do some decent enchantments on it, but the um, the capacity is a bit low. I only have a common soul gem, so if we can get something a bit more powerful, that would be ideal. And we can test up this Righteous Arcane Wrath Axe, which is incredibly powerful. That might do better against Lost Ones than the Silver Sword, just because it does 60 damage in total. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Give that a go. Um... And that's it, really. Let's um, let's get moving. I think I can teleport over to Riverville. Here we go. And yeah, I've been thinking about. Ender all the last. What blessed, my sir? Hey, sorry, sorry to just pop up in front of you like that. Yeah, I've been thinking about Ender all the last couple of days, and I know I said that this would be the last episode of the volume, <laughs> but at the moment I'm kind of feeling it. I feel like we've um. Kind of gotten over the difficulty hump, and I'm, I'm feeling like I, I've finally got a character who can kind of stand up for himself and got kind of a play style forming. There's the castle we've got to make our way over to. So, that's a long winded way of me saying I think I'm going to keep Endral going for a while longer. Um, I did a, a, a vote thing on. YouTube the other day asking what I should play next. I was planning on doing some Morrowind after Enderal. Um but I might yeah, I might push Morrowind back, continue with Enderal, and then according to how you lot have voted, seems like a lot of you want to see me play New Vegas. And I do have that installed and I do have my mod list sorted and that does sound good to me. So maybe for a while not too sure, but I think this is what's going to happen. I think I'm going to end up doing Enderal and New Vegas for a while. And eventually put Enderal on hold and go back to Morrowind. But I, I just don't think I'm quite ready to stop Enderal just yet. I'm kind of eager to pick up the main quest again. Um... Yeah, like, and the main quest, they'll, like... Yeah, like two star quests. So I, I feel like we're powerful enough to kind of get a bit of the main quest done. And I, ju I just don't want to stop playing. That's basically what I'm saying. I don't want to stop at the moment. But uh, yeah, I'd also really like to give New Vegas a go. That'll be something a bit different for the channel. And um, you can see how embarrassingly bad I am at first person shooters. Yeah, I am. I'm not. I'm not a gun person. It's, it's gonna, it's gonna be rough. And I, I haven't played New Vegas since it came out. I played New Vegas when it came out. The um, it was quite buggy and a bit rough at the edges, but I loved it. But that's the only time I haven't played any of the DLCs. Um, I think I did about a 40, 50 hour playthrough, and that's all the New Vegas I've ever played. So um, it'll be kind of a partially blind playthrough. So I think that'll be exciting. I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to start recording that pretty pretty soon. And Skyrim, 
Whew, on the horizon somewhere, but um, yeah, maybe sometime next year. That's 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 what I'm thinking at the moment. Of course, this could all change. This is just simply what I fancy doing. Whatever I'm enjoying at the time. I'm trying not to, you know, force myself to play anything or do anything silly like that. Who's this? <laughs> now look at that. A lonesome traveler. Some folks just never learn. Ow. Ah! Oh. Come on. <laughs> One hit. I think this axe is very powerful. Also, I didn't know I could do these cool moves. I guess everything's kind of respawned back down here. Can I even read a um, uh, apprentice alchemy? Yeah, no, no, it does nothing for me. Crafting book, handicraft master. Probably better off selling that. Don't even know where it came from. It's quite nice to be back down here. Uh, hey, isn't there a big ruin here? This is where that... I never went in here, did I? Did I? Remember, I spent so much time in this area struggling with getting killed by wolves and fighting for my life against undead and bandits, and now I can just storm through the area with no problem. That's what I really like about the uh, kind of the fixed level, fixed leveled area enemies style that this game does. You really feel the uh, progression you make as you advance. I never went in this dungeon, did I? Do you think? Do you think we can do both? Yeah. What is this? Is like a Pyrian ruin or something, isn't it? This is something exciting. How do I get down here? There was a path down. I remember. Here we go. wolves down here last time I was here. Not today though. Yeah, when I, I was here because I thought maybe this was like the stone circle at one point. That's right. Old Espadon. What's an Espadon? Oh, hello. Yeah, that spell. Yeah, it doesn't work on them. All right, let's see how this axe deals with. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, it works. Perhaps silver. I should have tried. I should have compared the silver sword and the axe then, shouldn't I? Old Sherath, right? I don't think I explored this. Oh, I did. Did I? 
this seems a bit bit familiar actually yeah I did didn't I yes yes it's the place where I opened up that and we should yeah see all right then never mind that, that's where we ended up fighting Zusharath, the the lichy thing All right. In that case, we need to we need to carry on towards the castle. This is a this is a waste of time. Um, how do I get out? Do I have to go up the way I came in? I think I can go up here. Far to go. See if we can find the road around here somewhere. somewhere hey cool ah uh, here we go Magic symbol. Apothecary's satchel. Old robe. No, I'm I'm all right. Okay, I've kind of lost track of where I'm going now. The castle's up here somewhere. What's this? Hi. Damn you. You fucking scum. You'll pay for that. I would have left you alone if you didn't shoot me. Skill books, nothing, nothing too exciting. But they're really camped out in the middle of nowhere, aren't they? Here we go, here's the path. The righteous path.
Here's something I should do. Uh, oh, how do I assign groups again? How does that work? Can I ungroup that? So if I press F1. Very good. Yeah, last time I was here, didn't something weird happen? Like I got a creepy feeling. Here we go. You have a queasy feeling, a vague, powerful presence. However, something, or perhaps its absence, seems to hinder her from taking a physical form. No idea what that means. I think I crept in through downstairs last time. I don't think I've even been through the main entrance before. Here we go then. Oh yeah, this is much easier than last time. Don't give me that. There was a third one somewhere. No problem. All right then, so we're in an, an abandoned, haunted castle. Plants are all still alive. Candles are still lit. Yeah, I've been downstairs. I might have been down in that area previously. Oh, I think I'm aiming to go upstairs, really. Books. More books. Now, what do we know about this place? Not much. King Lude in the maids. Oh, thank you. Not much. I think we had some hints. Maybe I was theorising that, um, like, a lady owned this manor castle and she was maybe in charge of the mines in the local area. I think I found a few notes around the place and maybe that was just, like, me connecting dots and I wasn't really sure. I remember something about that. Maybe we learnt a bit more, but I can't remember. Oh, that was close. There's a globe of Vin there. I think we can see Nerim. Malay. Endral. Very cool.
Castle Golden Ford Keep requires a key. Ah. Well, maybe this is maybe this is like a quest. Maybe that's all I can do. Well, that's a bit of a letdown for the episode. Don't know what I'm going to do now. Let's um. Let's have a look downstairs. God, that makes me jump every time. So I believe there was nothing around this way. Apart from this, but I don't know what to make of this. I'll get the message again now. I remember this happening. No? Alright, let's have another look down here. I wonder if there's like a way you can find the key down here then make your way back up to the top. But I hope I'm not wasting my time. Trap here. Doesn't look like any of the enemies have respawned from the last time I was here either. I've been all down here. I think it was down here I, I gave up. Well, it looks like this might lead... Yeah, it's going to lead up to here. But unless I find a key right in this room, I think we're out of luck. Got it. Oh, cool. I, I had given up hope then. An entropist staff. What does that do? A maelstrom of dark might that does nine points of entropy damage while draining the caster's health. No, thank you. All right, we've got we've got the key. Let's head back upstairs.
Right, the keep. How many are we dealing with? Just two? Ow. I thought I was running. There's an archer somewhere. Ah, you bastard. Oh, I can't get up. I can hear, I can hear a soul. I haven't done this for a while. What is this tapestry of the souls? What have I done? <laughs> Did I wake something up? Did I wake something up or did someone just hear me cast a spell? Who's that? Who was that? Um... All right, let's let's test out. What was that spell? Counter. All right. First of all, let's get rid of this um this archer. Ooh. All right. Counter. What did she call me a fleshless worm? I cut her I cut her off then I killed her too quick. So it, I think she was um, the Countess, was she? Dora Dal Goldenford. I wish I, I wish I gave her a chance to speak. She said something. She said, "Look at this, a fleshless worm," and then the rest of the subtitles were there, so I could check that when I edit the video. Set of the mysterious nomad. Pretty good, but I think I'm kind of past that now. Ectoplasm. Oh, I've been catching any souls. Totally forgot. This always ha always happens. That. That's creepy. Here we go. Marius Dal Golden Ford. All right, very very cool. And he's a um a rank two soul as well. 
yeah, let's have a look into um, what he requires to summon. The Manual of Dreams and Visions. I've got that book already. I've been meaning to have a look at that. Lyrical gushes and other fluids. A guide to Prince Mithy's poems. Like a poetry book. The Golden House. That leads back somewhere. Some ambrosia. Jewelry box. The ruby. Bookcase. Another book of poetry. Ossian. Capital of Nerim's South Realm. Not really interested in that. Necklace of Deceit. That's okay. Ah, the Chronicles of Golden Ford. Yes, there was something, oh, there was something going wrong here. I remember reading about it, like, it was, a, yeah, okay, what does this say? These are the, la the last lines I will write down in our chronic for now in order to bring a little bit of illumination into the darkness, which has, has us in its cheerless and misty claws for already quite some time. My decision is set. We will leave Goldenford. We, the inhabitants of this castle, are educated in healing herbs and life-giving magic. But the grip of the so the grip of a sword, something only the fewest of us have ever held, and for this, a fight seems impossible. Also, it is too late to call for help, for I am not willing to wait for further weeks for a messenger from Ark in the process to lose the life of more men and women. Maybe, at the end, this disaster is our own fault, even if I can only assume for now. For this bizarre sickness roaming through our walls has so far never shown its face or let one of us remain sane long enough in order to work our magic for protection. This sickness is not controllable and is spreading like wildfire so fast that we almost can't Im inhume all the affected. It is too high risk. Today we will have our last meal in these halls and then we shall leave without hesitating. I'm assuming that's the Red Madness. That for some reason that the Red Madness infected this castle at an accelerated rate or something like that. And I guess that's it. Whoops. Sorry, I didn't mean to push that. Yeah, so a couple of pieces of armor. Mysterious Nomad armor is quite cool, but it's nowhere near as good as our new armor. I wonder where this goes then. back down into the basement.
Right, and I wonder if something weird is going to happen out here now. You have a queasy feeling, a vague, powerful presence, however something, or perhaps it's its absence seems to hinder her from taking physical form. Weird. Is there something in the castle I need to bring out here? I don't know. I don't know. Nonetheless, I think I'm done here for now. Um, I guess that's it for this ar area. I don't know if there's anything else I really wanted to do around here. I don't really want to go out retreading old ground. Um, we could go to Fog Watch. Wrap that up. But that would be, I'd have to take the Myred from to the Heartland, really, and go from there. So at the moment, it looks like I can return to Ark. Teleport arc, there we go. We'll um head back to Ark, sell a couple of things, and then I'll go down to the Undercity and we'll have a look at our new the new soul we found, see if I can do anything with that. My words, O oh path abiding people of this holy city. Many of you oh. hungry for arcane secrets? This is what I, I noticed the other day. Morales blessings, my friend. I'm not sure if um sorry, let me silence my phone, it's going off on one. I'm not sure if I've actually spoken to this guy. They just sit on their asses and hope things settle them. Spices, drugs, delicacies, only the best. Straight from Kile. Yeah, and he's from, um, he's from Kile as well, so I think we'd be interested in speaking with him. I just, whenever I'm, like, not recording and selling things, I always speak to him and I think, like, have I actually spoken to him before? Do we have anything to sell to him? I don't think so. Rid of that blueprint. And those spell tomes, I suppose. What's he selling? Nothing massively exciting. How do you know I'm an adventurer? What one wears tells more than a thousand words, as we Kileans like to say. You are surrounded by a feeling of an adventurer as much as a keeper is surrounded by a feeling of honor. And I think I might just have something in stock, which could be to your liking. Yeah, cool. I've, I've definitely never spoken to him. Ah, uh, you do? What would that be? A potion. One of my friends in the Blue Islands Coalition gave it to me with the last delivery, and he said they took it from pirates. Of course, that sparked my interest, and so I asked an apothecary to examine it. And now brace yourself. He said this potion grants its user extraordinary powers. Here, take a look. Beautiful, isn't it? 
It can be yours for only 200 pennies. Buy potion plus five learning points. 200 for such a magical potion, that sounds suspiciously little. Uh, well, um, okay. I guess you got me. Here is your game, Penny. What? If it's clam and fish you seek, then come and uh, take a game, it Penny. Oh my. You haven't seen much of this world, have you? The game, Penny. It is a symbolic guerdon. A Killian merchant pays to his customer if he or she... Well, you know. If he tries to fraud him. Oh, this is a Killian thing. Lucas really should know this. Fraud. Ugh. Such an ugly word. We Killians consider every human being to be able to decide for themselves what they believe. But forgive my demeanor. I sometimes forget which country this is. We Killians always like to say, a good haggling is like making love. No matter how it ends, having had, it is better than not having had it at all. But since this is not Kile, uh, I'll give you a discount on my wares. That should be enough of a compensation. Don't you agree? Fair enough. I suppose it's the Kalean way. Lucas should, uh, should remember that for future dealings. Maybe we'll, we'll have a look at this game pennies. What did I, did I actually get a penny or was it just a single penny? Spices, rugs, delicacies, only the best. So Straight do, from Kile. Do I have a, a, look. a discount now? I'm not sure. Unfortunately, there's nothing I really want to buy from him. Maybe some re well, alchemy and rhetoric learn learning books, I suppose. Right, so you're from Kile. Uh, did you, what, what did you, flee the war from there? Well, flee isn't exactly the right word for it. I call it tactical relocalization. This guy has a way with words. Only a stupid businessman will try to sell spices amidst a civil war. Yeah, what's what's the um what are people on Calais saying about the rumors that the gods are dead? Well, um if it's clear, they are blasphemy. What else? The gods have reigned win for millennia. Whoever thinks one could just kill the gods as they could kill a rabbit must be another fool. Yeah, yeah, sure. Cool. Hey. Do you mind? Hungry for arcane. So, um I have books. What exactly caused the war? We've it's been a long time since we've been back to Kille. We're a bit out of the loop. Oh well, after those rumors about the Lightborn's death started, the council members must have thought, now's the time for power struggles. Very stupid, if you ask me, and very bad for the economy. Thank the sun I was one of the few who fled early enough, but this madness has cost far too many lives. Far too many. Oh, cool. All right, nice talking to you. Farewell. There you go, I'll leave Greetings. you to uh, your next customer. Oh, there's a queue forming. You just can't depend on those sailors. How long do they expect me to wait for my shipment? Right. Look. Hammers, daggers, swords. Hmm? The best from the Calais archipelago to this beautiful country. Hmm? Let me know when something catches your interest. Got a flying mace over there. Looking for steel. Everything for the path abiding soldier. All right, let's sell um, this rat catcher stuff and the mysterious nomad thing. Come again. I think that's all I really need to get rid of, isn't it? I've got this entropist staff as well. Where can I sell that? Some circlets. I know where I can go.
Oh, hello there. Are you looking for garments? I have the finest cloth from Kile to Enderal. Come and look for yourself. Walk blessed. Ah, what All you your stock? heart could ever desire. Take a look. Right. First of all, let's sell these circlets. Necklace of Deceit. Let's get rid of it. Ooh, Andralian Sublime Garb. Ooh, look at this stuff. How much is it? It's expensive, and it just gives you slightly better prices. Fine red clothes. Kalean headwear. Noble clothes. I wouldn't mind one of these. Not right now. I'm, I'm, I don't have that much money. May his light guide you. Come back if you find the time. Do enchanting here. Very good. I can probably sell this stuff to this lady, I think. Greetings. Sure, take a look. There we go. Walk bless. <sighs> right, okay, last thing to do then is head down to the Undercity. And have a look at our new Phasmalist soul. Where do we go up here? What? Hey. Pity. It was a good month. What is it, Sunchild? I need Encyclopedia Arcana uh. Magic Part 1. That's the soul gem, paper roll, two bone meal, two ectoplasm. Alright, that's easy to get. Let me take a photo of that. <laughs> you just wait and see, fucking sissy. Uh, okay, let's work on getting these. It's the, the book's the tricky one. This guy might sell bone meal and ectoplasm. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe there's a trick or two I could show you, but trust me, they don't come cheap. There we go, two bone meal. And one ectoplasm. Need a paper roll. I need my enchant up as well. Well then. Only four points of enchanting. Okay, I, I'll probably work on finding the last ingredients to that in between episodes. I guess I'm going to leave it there for today. My that was sir. that was cool. Lucas felt very powerful, just mm. two hitting everything. Mm. Next time, I th think we'll um, head back to the Sun Temple and pick up on the main quest. The only other thing I have to do is go back to uh, Fogwatch and continue with that quest, but I think I'll leave that for now. We'll, um, we haven't been to the Sun Temple for a while, so we'll get back. Back on with that, yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bloody 
steel crabs. Always in the way of progress. <laughs>